So a clinic, so I'm very pleased to be working as part of a clinical academic group um, at, at, at SLAM. What the clinical academic group means to me is that academics like myself, so I'm a researcher, also work in our clinical services. And what that means is that I bring to bear the kind of expertise and I would hope the critical faculties that I developed as part of my research training to the clinical situation. So one of the most important tenets of our clinical academic group is that we don't want any of our patients to receive treatments unless we believe there's a really robust evidence base to support their use. And in those areas where we're aware there isn't a research evidence base to support the use or, or otherwise of treatments, then we see it as being our job to provide that evidence base and to fill that gap. So what I'd like all the patients and their families who come into contact with our services to appreciate is that nothing that we do with them is done unless we know it's going to make a difference and going to help them. So my personal vision for our clinical academic group as it goes forward is twofold. One, that we continue to develop and investigate better treatments for people with dementia so that we can offer better treatments that we're going to have more of an impact on the lives of our patients. And secondly, that our services act as a kind of beacon so that health service staff, whatever their discipline, be they nurses, occupational therapists, psychologists or doctors who are interested in looking after older people, actually choose to move to London to work with us. And that way we can attract ever better staff. And the key to really, really good services is to have excellent staff. Our clinical academic group works very closely with the medicine CAG. So we look after people, most, well, all of whom are elderly, and of course, this is a group who often have a lot of physical health problems too. In fact, it's very unusual for me to look after a patient with dementia or depression or psychosis who isn't also receiving some sort of treatment for a physical medical problem. So it's absolutely imperative that I work closely with my colleagues in medicine. And similarly, the wards in the acute hospitals within, within King's Health Partners are full of older people. And one in three of those older people has dementia, a large number have depression or psychosis, and our colleagues who work in the acute trusts, they need our help, they need our expertise.